Hello and welcome to Meadow Brown Bakery. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these cream horns. I've already made my puff pastry, which I'm going to use. You can use store-bought puff pastry or you can make your own. Click on the link above to see how to make your own. I'm, I've rolled it out until it's this thick and it's ready to use. Prepare a baking tray by putting some baking paper on it and leave your cream horn molds on it. These cream on molds come in a pack of six. Just put them on your baking tray and put them to one side. Cut six strips of the puff pastry, which you're going to use for the six molds. Get your cream on molds and brush some butter on them and then put them to the side to let the butter set. Put the puff pastry pieces to one side and then get one and wrap it around the mold. You start from this pointy side and you just wrap your pastry make sure that some of the parts overlap so that none of your filling comes out This one, as you can see, didn't go all the way to the top and that's fine. With one mold, you can make different sizes. You can make very small ones or you can make ones that go all the way. So I've wrapped this up and it's up to here. Now put this on your baking tray. If you want your pastry to go further up the mold, stretch it out a bit before you use it. I'm, like I'm stretching, just use your hands, be gentle so that you don't break it. Stretch it as much as you can go and then roll it out just like you did with the first one and make sure it slightly overlaps. And when you've gone all the way around, pinch the bottom so that none of the filling comes out. Repeat this process until you've covered all the six molds. Put them in the fridge for about half an hour to firm up. When they're ready, Get them out of the fridge and preheat your oven to 190 degrees Celsius. Get them out of the fridge and then make your egg wash, which is a mixture of egg and milk. Mix this together and brush it on top of the pastry. Bake in the oven until golden brown. Remove from the oven and leave them alone for about 5 minutes and then remove the molds. I've left one here so that I can show you how to remove the molds. And then gently tug at the mold to get it out. Put them on a cooling rack and leave them to cool completely. While they're cooling, make some cream to go into your molds. Okay, mine have completely cooled down. I've put some on a plate and you can melt some chocolate. You can put some chocolate inside the mold if you want and let it set. Or you can just put some chocolate around the edges of your cream horn. And then put this to the side to set. While that's setting, I'm just going to get one of these and fill it with cream. I've made my cream already and I've put it in a piping bag fitted with a star nozzle. Now pipe the cream into the mold. I've got a few sprinkles that I'm going to put on here. Now get the one that's got the chocolate. The chocolate is set and to do the same process. Just pipe your cream into it and then put on the plate. Now you can leave them like this or just dust them with a bit of icing sugar or some melted chocolate drizzled on top and leave the chocolate to set before you serve. I'm going to cut one and it's crunchy on the outside and quite soft in the middle because of the cream. You can see the cream is evenly distributed and it tastes great. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. For more videos like this, visit my website www.middlebrownbakery.com. Please like and subscribe to my channel.